Oh boy, this world. This woman right here, Playboy Playmate Stephanie Adams, with her son in 2012. Her son and she died today when Stephanie Adams jumped with her seven-year-old son to their death. Gotham Hotel, she was staying in a penthouse on the 25th floor and jumped and hit a second floor landing. What's going on? Look how beautiful she is. And she was rich. And it seems as if this is a woman who had so much going for her, but a custody battle, which apparently was nasty. So nasty that when they would hand over their son, they had to do it at a, a police precinct in Tribeca, in Manhattan. And apparently that's where parents who are in custody battles, if it's so nasty and they can't manage to, mm, I don't know, behave in a mature fashion, they then have to hand over their children at a police precinct. That is so sad, but quite indicative of how crazy so many people are in our society. Um, so their bodies were found on the second floor landing in the hotel's rear courtyard. Yeah, I, I have to wonder if this woman might have been pushed, might have might have been steered to jump. I don't know. But we sure do know that one, there is technology to make somebody do this. And well, people murder people often. They're, they were in the midst of a fierce court battle. Now her estranged husband Charles Nicoli, 47, owner of Wall Street Chiropractic and Wellness. Nicoli's lawyer recently demanded that Adams turn over the kid's passport I don't know how an attorney can demand someone turn over their passports. It's generally a court order. Um, but yeah, apparently their relationship was quite toxic. Um, Adams, Stephanie Adams, successfully sued the New York City Police Department winning a 1.2 million jury award stemming from a 2006 incident in which she was thrown to the ground by a cop who falsely claimed she pulled a gun on him. And the couple also was sued in 2013 by a former massage therapist in her husband's office and she was claiming that Andrews was jealous of her that did I say Andrews? I think I meant Adams. Uh, Stephanie Adams was jealous of this woman because she was just too cute. Who the hell knows? <clears throat> Jealousy can be a really dangerous um, issue and people can really turn pretty nasty. But I just don't see this happening. You guys let me know. The former 
Wilhelmina, an elite model turned author, was profiled by the Post in 2013. She had written 25 New Age self-help books, ran an online organic beauty products company, managed the finances for her husband's chiropractic office. Well, I'm sure she wasn't managing the finances uh, when he became the estranged husband. And she said this, the stereotypes are sexist and unfair. Adam said at the time, just because I look a certain way and have expensive taste, it doesn't mean I'm shallow. Style and looks don't mean lack of brain, sweetheart. Okay, uh, I agree with that. There's always exceptions. And look, guys, I just can't imagine this woman jumping with her son. Perhaps there's more to this story. But, yeah, tragedies abound.